Hello and welcome back to the football half of the award-winning scoreboard show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Casey McAvoy, and tonight we have some high-ranked highlights, including a number one versus, or excuse me, number two versus a number four. When we come back, we'll see who came out on top. Those scores and more coming right up. Scoreboard show is brought to you in part by Simpson Farm Enterprises of Ransom, Hayes, Great Bend, and Beloit, your local spray coop and Apache dealer. Six and one, first and number five, eight man D2 Thunder Ridge Longhorns host the Northern Valley Huskies sitting at three and zero in their league. Kruger gives to Trevor Lowe and he pounds his way through the Husky defense. First and goal, Garrett Kruger keeps and scores. Hey Kruger, how about a conversion? Dalton Miner recepts and converts. Northern Valley ball, Tyson Calloway on the carry, and Derek Coombs knocks the ball out for Thunder Ridge, and Kruger recovers. And Kruger is so kind that he gives this one to Trent Ratsky and lets him score a touchdown. Hunter, Hunter Chandler running this offense. Jordan Baird gets a reception and gets to first single territory for the green and white. Northern Valley 14, Thunder Ridge 60 on top. Two evenly matched teams sitting here, three and four, as the Decatur Community Red Devils traveled to Ellis for a District 7 matchup. Blake Hudson found Harley right on the deep side far pass. Hudson finally falls down, scrambling left and right, but Fortin gets a sack credit. Snap goes through the hands of Dayton Dreher, and look out because 230 pounds of Skyler Tebow time is coming your way. Decatur gets a playoff, Bryson Wesley on the carry. Good run until fumble, and Ellis's Landon Younger recovers. Eli Lohrmeyer at quarterback finds Harley right across the middle, and the Railers are in the red zone. Cole Pfeiffer on the tackle. Play action. Lohrmeyer has an open target deep in the end zone. It's Jared Mick, touchdown Ellis, and they take this one 14-7 over Decatur Community. In eight-man division one, the physical Fairfield Falcons will try to slow down that swift St. John Tiger offense who won six straight games. Wayne Schoenaker takes it outside and gets a Falcon first down. He's coming off a 100-yard game last weekend. And another 100-yard runner, Ryan Avia, quarterback, throws it up for Brennan Pankratz. Falcon touchdown. A little snap mishap, but Avia manages to get the ball to trace a base for the conversion. Now here's St. John, Skylar Brown on a short run here. And Brown on a no gain here, A.V. on the tackle. On fourth down, Spencer Nusser hammers it home. Nusser scores, Nusser gets convert, two points for the Tigers and they beat Fairfield 54 to 36. The red and white battle has a three and four Quinter Bulldogs hosting the five and two Hoxie Indians and the band played on. How about a little seven on seven? Matt Heim gets a carry, Tyler Wagner on the tackle. Deep shotgun, Chase Kennedy finds Tyler Cost, touchdown Hoxie. And deep, deep shotgun, this is a repeater. Kennedy finds Cost for another Hoxie touchdown. Another Hoxie touchdown. No shotgun. Kennedy under center. Steven Dibble gets the carry. Colton Kerwin and Jason Wirth on the tackle. The one and six Broncos, Day Russell, traveled to Hoisington as the cards sit at three and four, but two and zero oh in their league. We have Jacob Warnkin finding Cody the Stilt, six eight Steltler for a Cardinal touchdown. Fumble Hoisington. Russell recovers. Dakota Homewood falls on top. Alex Baldwin pass. And how the heck does Eric Rohr come up with that? Nice catch, son. Russell handoff and cough it up. And 265 pounds of Seth Owen recover. Warnkin back to pass, seems it to Jeffrey Kaiser at midfield into Bronco territory. And deeper into Bronco territory, David Crawford is able to catch up to him. Chase Daniel is 5'8 and patient. Following his blockers and dragging Russell defenders into the end zone, Hoisenden takes this one 40 to 12, 42 to 12 over Russell. 
The high ranking battle tonight is your number two Salina South Cougars at six and one heading west on I-70 to take on the number five Hayes High Indians. Six wins and one loss. Mike Jones on that option run and Jones again room to run brought down hard by Emilio Mitchell. Indians offense Delton airs it out for Salina South Zach Nackbar and he just gets it back into Indian territory. Justin Stonebreaker, far side pass to Aaron Marr, out of bounds by Adam Dieterding. Stonebreaker has plenty of time and he's going to bring it near side and knocked times two out of bounds by Mitchell. Mike Shirk, easy in and Hayes High struggled in this one. Salina South on top 35 to six. Your number five ranked eight man D1, the 7 0 Solomon Grizzlies travel to take on the 3 4 Central Plains Oilers. Bryce Steiner scrambles right and finds Colton Zink wide open, first down, and Josh Berdine gets him out of bounds. Steiner back to pass, lobs it up to 6 4 Joe Barton for the Oiler touchdown. Solomon 7, Colton Chirac, quick pass to Josh Berdine, far sideline, 55 yard catch and run with no contact. Doesn't get any easier than that. Steiner finds Lane Bieberly and Berdine finds Bieberly on the hard hitting tackle. Merritt Hammocky down the far sideline. Touchdown Oilers. Berdine punts. Bieberly receives and wait for it. Patience. Find the sweet spot and be gone. Nice special teams touchdown by Beaverly on the great run. Toss to Durant, far sideline. No stop in this play. Touchdown, Solomon. Snap goes over Zink's head and Mark Allward falls on top of it. Do I? Whip, yep, uh, fall on top of it. And that's a touchdown. Steiner shotgun, Steiner run, and Steiner touchdown. Solomon 52, Central Plains 56.